Okay, this is the video we're actually going to record for the customer, but uh, we're gonna post this later as well. As you can see, the customer uh, put some crappy oil in there. They certainly didn't use synthetic oil. This is a uh, 2010 Prius, but we'll show you why there's an issue with the oil and taking off the head bolts. I want you to watch that as Jack starts loosening up the head bolts. Okay, so we got that first initial bounce, right? A little click. And now you see how the head bolt moves back and forth. It moves back and forth uh, before the second click. If it moves back and forth, then you're pretty safe. You can continue turning it. Go ahead, Jack. A little bit of bouncing. So that one's good. Let's go to the next one. Same deal. Get that first click. You want to make sure it... See how it moves back. It goes back and forth freely. And the head bolt will go. Just give it more torque. It'll, it'll break free. All right. So this one. Yep. Okay, this is one. Right, this one? Yeah, this one won't do so it. Take get that first click in. I, I felt it. it. Does, it's not going to go? No. Nope. Okay, so Jack, go slowly. Put some torque on it. Okay, now let go. See how this one is not spinning back and forth. All right, go ahead, hold the camera. Okay. Okay. So when it doesn't move, the threads are locked in there. <clears throat> and uh, as I think we've showed before, the only thing you can do from there is uh, shocking the threads. Um, so you do that by hitting the top of it with a hammer, which he's going to show right now. But the, okay, let me get back. Okay. So this one is not free to, to spin. Nice and centered. Now you can see. Now you can see it's, it's wiggling back and forth. It's wiggling back and forth. It's a little hard to see on the camera, but now it's like the old ones. Oh, and see, now if you I can turn it. If I would have kept turning it without hitting it with the hammer, that bolt would have just snapped. And you have to uh, take it to a machine shop, drill it out, or replace the engine. So, next one. See that? That one has the back bounce. Freely. Looks nice. Oh. Nice and free. Oh, that one's very good. So again, if it wiggles back and forth, it bounces in place. Like you can keep going, just like that. You can you can keep going, and the bolt will turn out. If it doesn't bounce at all the bolt is locked into the head and you need to shock the threads to get it out. And the way you do that is with a hammer hitting it down as we showed you. So the, luckily the rest of these ones were okay, but most of the time when you have the conventional oil like this, they all get locked in. We've had many, many where you have to hit every single bolt. It's it, just use synthetic oil, just use the right oil.